This is Percy Franklin reporting live from the Penguin Breeding Grounds in Antarctica. The breeding season is almost over and the eggs have not hatched yet. I will now interview Tuck, an special father of an egg. How does it feel to be a father? Um, it feels very satisfying knowing that soon I will have a little fluffy grey bundle of joy in the world. Great answer. Can I see the egg now? No! If I let the egg out, it will freeze and die. I've actually been staying fairly still for the last five days. Huh. Right. Anything else bad? Um... Yes, actually. I'm hungry. I haven't eaten in weeks. My mate still hasn't come back from the sea. Uh, that reminds me of the story of Anna and Simeon, who waited years for Jesus to come. Oh yes, yeah, that concludes our interview. You can go now. Okay, thanks. Moving on, there is cameramen and sound crews everywhere who are here to sell as for a wildlife documentary. Get over there a bit. We're all going to be stars. Well, eventually, after I go through all the editing and whatever, and... That is all the news for now. This is Bertie Craigwood signing off. Good morning. Day one, travels with Jesus. I'm here in my tent live coming to you from somewhere cold. As I look out of my tent, I can see a penguin colony right here in the Antarctic. Now, I wonder, you may be in the tent just across the way there, and I wonder if you can see the news flash people recording just across there because soon we're going to hear from them and some penguin parents and they are going to talk to us all about waiting. Now, I'm back in my tent. I've had my early morning walk. I'm going to take my hat off. I am going to get my Bibles out. I hope you've got yours. Snuggle into your tent and let's look at our first Bible story. So, our Bible story, our first Bible story, is from Luke chapter 2, verses 25 to the end. And it's a story all about waiting. The first person we will hear about is someone called Simeon. He was very, very old and had been friends with God his whole life. And the Holy Spirit had promised him that he would not die until he had met the Saviour. One day he was in the temple in Jerusalem when Mary and Joseph brought their little boy Jesus to the temple to say thank you. When Simeon saw this baby he recognised straight away who Jesus was, that he was the special son of God and he held that baby Jesus and said thank you to God for keeping his promise. Someone else was in the temple. Her name was Anna. And she had worked and lived in the temple for years and years and years. She was even older than most grandmas and grandpas. And she had waited and waited to see God's special son. And there he was. She saw him too. Now Anna and Simeon had had to trust God and believe in God that something that they didn't know was going to happen was going to happen. They'd heard through scripture reading and through being in the temple that God would send a saviour, someone to save the world, someone to tell the world and show us all how wonderful God is and how much he loves us. And they trusted God and waited and waited, even though they didn't know how long they had to wait. 
When they met Jesus, the very first thing they did was thank God that they had waited, that God keeps his promises. Now, that waiting was years and years and years. Now, we've heard from the Penguin News Flash about these penguin parents and their waiting. And it probably seems like years and years and years to them until that mum or dad comes back with food. We might have felt like we've been waiting and waiting for a very long time these last few months, stuck in our houses, waiting to see if we're all going to stay safe and well, waiting to see when we can go out to play again, when we can go to the play parks, when we can go back to school, when we can see our families. All that time, God has been with us, even though it might have been hard to see sometimes. God has been with us, patiently waiting, knowing that it will come to an end. So we can learn from when Jesus was a baby that people waited patiently with God and God helps people in that waiting. We can trust him with the plans he has for us. So, I'm going to meet up with you sometime soon and we will think and chat about this a little bit more. In the meantime, I'm going to put my hat back on and go and have a look round, here I go, round the penguin colony again. And then I'm going to pack up my tent and see where I'm going to meet up with you again tomorrow. See you then. <laughs>